The Real Heartbreak, Why Stress Can Stop the Heart. We often hear the phrase, died of a broken heart, but for nearly 200,000 people in just five years, that sentiment wasn't just poetic, it was dangerously real. To Kotsubo, cardiomyopathy, better known as broken heart syndrome, is more than an emotional metaphor. It's a serious, stress-induced heart condition where part of the heart suddenly stops pumping properly, usually triggered by intense emotional or physical stress. And according to a new study, it remains both misunderstood and surprisingly deadly. Researchers reviewed data from nearly 200,000 hospitalizations between 2016 and 2020 and found the in-hospital death rate held steady at a troubling 6.5%. That's not just a number, that's thousands of lives cut short and no sign of improvement over time. Worse still, outcomes were not equal. Men died at twice the rate of women, 11.2% compared to 5.5%. Older adults faced a higher incidence, but middle-aged adults, those in their 40s and 50s, were up to three times more likely to be affected than people just a decade younger. And race, income, insurance, and hospital resources all factored into who got the condition and how they fared. The complications are severe, congestive heart failure, atrial fibrillation, strokes, and even cardiac arrest. And what makes this so alarming is that Takotsubo cardiomyopathy often mimics a heart attack. The symptoms and test results are so similar that it's easy to misdiagnose, costing precious time and targeted care. So what's the takeaway for physicians and patients alike? First, recognize that Takotsubo is real and it's deadly. It doesn't just happen to elderly widows either. Middle-aged men and women are increasingly affected. Second, early diagnosis and aggressive monitoring are key. Complications like stroke might be preventable if clinicians act fast, especially when heart imaging reveals classic signs without blocked arteries. We need more research, not only into why this condition hits men harder or why it hasn't improved in five years, but also into new treatments that actually change outcomes. This isn't just a matter of the heart, it's a matter of life and death. This video is based on the research paper High Mortality and Complications in Patients Admitted with Takotsubo Cardiomyopathy with More Than Double Mortality in Men Without Improvement in Outcome Over the Years by M. Reza Movahed et al. in Journal of the American Heart Association. What do you think about this research? Drop us a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.